Halloween is coming up and I'm still waiting for a good horror mo Wait a minute. Ouija, Origin of Evil. I am so excited right now. So Ouija was written and directed by Mike Flanagan. Now usually I don't go into directors all that much because as you know, I like to keep my reviews on the surface level, but I want to talk about Mike Flanagan really quick. After I saw this movie, I went to IMDb, looked up Mike Flanagan. He did another horror movie that I thought was pretty good, Oculus. He also did a movie I had watched on Netflix called Hush, but I definitely saw remnants of the same suspense and the same tone from those two movies in Ouija. Now, Ouija is a story about a family here in Los Angeles. You have Alice the mother, Lena, and Doris, the two daughters. Alice does seances, she reads palms, and she's a, she's a fraud, she's a hoax, she's, and she knows she is, but she's trying to pay the bills. Her husband has died and she's trying to make ends meet, and her kids are involved in this. Her kids help her pull off these fake readings, and Alice sees this as she's helping people, she's helping comfort people. One night, her daughter Lena sneaks out of the house to go see her friends, and they have a Ouija board. After seeing the Ouija board, Lena tells her mom, hey, we should incorporate this into uh, into our seances because it might be a, a good uh, a good piece of showmanship to use and now we have our movie I really didn't think I would say this going into it but Ouija was really good and not just good because it was scary but it was smart it was smart scary now I'm not a big fan of jump scares this movie did have them but this movie really involved what I like to call the slow burn scare where somebody walks past something and you see something in the background and you go, wait a minute, did I just see that? And the character also goes, wait, did I just see it? And they back up and now it's different. You're not sure if you saw what you thought you saw. The pacing in this movie, I really liked. What I mean by that is it moved. It moved quickly. There was no downtime. There were like two, maybe two parts where there was some real exposition going on but it was in the midst of something interesting happening, so it was very well done. Was it Exorcist good? No, you know, but was it a really enjoyable, you know, scary movie, if that's your thing? Yeah, absolutely, it was great. Now, because I don't want to go too far, I don't want to ruin things that are going to happen, I do want to focus on one person, and that's the character of Doris, played by Luna Wilson. Wow. How old is this girl? I've seen lots of scary movies with kids and they freak you out because they're acting crazy and they're acting weird. But this was like if you took like a young Dakota Fanning and put her in a horror movie and she just played it absolutely straight. That was this girl. She was fantastic. She really delivered some long monologues that really had you squirming. And there were a number of points in this movie where she just had these little twitches and things that you usually see in they're, you know, seasoned actors much older than her. I think what made her performance so good is she, you really like this girl. You know, at the beginning of the movie, you really, she's a very sweet little girl. And then as the movie's going on, she starts scaring the crap out of you. And not because now she looks weird, it looks different, it looks possessed or anything, she just does. But I'll say this, if you saw Ouija in the title and you thought, oh, another one of these movies, it's not what you're thinking. This movie had some really smart scares. It had some really, interesting plot lines in it. And the one thing I will say is the slow burn, not in your face scares, the things that are happening in the background or off to the side, or things you think you saw, or you're not sure that you saw, that's what made this movie work and work so well. Cause we've all experienced that where you've been walking past something and you think, wait, was that what? No, okay, everything's fine, but it's not okay, is it? I'm a horror movie, scary movie fan. I, I like that feeling of being scared. I like the feeling of being surprised. And this movie really had me watching. Not Usually I want to turn away from the screen. I was watching because I was automatically intrigued with, all right, how are they going to get me? And they got me many, many times. I saw, you know, things would happen and it would just make you, oh no. If you like jump scares, it's in there. If you like the slow burn scares, it's in there. If you like the psychological scares and weird stuff, that's in there too. This movie also did a good job at showing just enough. When there's, when there's things that are happening or violent things that are about to happen, you see enough to scare you, but you don't see enough to gross you out. You don't see enough make your stomach churn, you know, but you do get enough to freak you out. Maybe that's the best word, freak you out. More freak you out than scare you. I lost count how many times I was watching this movie and over to the side, I'm sitting there quietly and I hear, oh, hell no, that's not right. So Ouija, Origin of Evil, how was it? I wrote it right at the beginning. Damn good. Uh, it was a really a fun movie. It was a fun, scary movie. Well acted, well directed, well scared. And one of the things that made Ouija fun as well as scary is it was easy to follow. You didn't have 10 different plot points going on. You had this family, a Ouija board, some crazy stuff happening, and go. I highly recommend you go see Ouija Origin of Evil. You'll have a great time, especially if you like scary movies. Until next time.